my name is Alma and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would do the newbie book tag because I'm brand new to booktube and so I wanted to go through the I think there's 10, 10 questions that they have on this tag and then that way you'll get to kind of know a little bit about me and what kind of things I, I like as far as books and things and then um, we'll just go from there. So I have the 10 questions here and I'll just go through them really quickly. So it's not going to be a very long video. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? So I started reading, um, I started tracking my reading this past year in 2023. And I just loved watching all the, uh, and I actually discovered booktube um, and finding all the, everybody's different channels and kind of books that people liked and where I got all my recommendations really. So it's just that love of books that I have found um, this past year. And then also I just want to talk to people about, hey, I read this book and you know what I felt about the different books that I've read. And so, you know, loving the love of books, sharing the books and just talking about them and getting recommendations and getting to know people here on BookTube just getting that part of being part of that community. And then also there's not a lot of, not a whole lot of, of booktubers that talk about uh, Christian fiction, which is a genre that I really, really, really love. And so I thought, well, you know, I could be another Christian fiction booktuber out there that reads books and recommends them to others as well. And just kind of get the word out about these wonderful books. And then also just to encourage my own reading for the year to keep just to keep me going and, and reading as much as I can. And then just to have fun, just a fun thing to do. And then, so uh, number two, question number two says, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? So a couple of things about myself. I am, I'm a homeschool mom. I started a brand new homeschool mom, started homeschooling my daughter a couple of years ago. And so I'm, I'm consider myself very brand new, still learning, where both of us are still learning and changing different curriculums and things like that. And so um, I thought I could maybe share that on my channel, like the different read alouds that we do, which is uh, one of the wonderful things about homeschool that we started doing read alouds together. And, and that's one reason I got my love of books back into my life. And then, I, like I said, with, with uh, Christian fiction, and also I'd like to share things like Bible studies that I want to do through the year to talk about those maybe in some future videos. And then I, since I am a brand new reader, back to reading, a lot of books that have been out for years and years and years are going to be new to me. So possibly, you know, reading these older books to, to kind of remind people or maybe people haven't heard of these books in a while. So maybe things like that. And I do like to go, um, thrift shopping for books and going to library sales. I do have a video, recent video of my first library sale of the year, and I'll, I'll link that below. And so that's one of the things I'll, I really want to share with y'all because I just love going to uh, library sales and buy, finding, you know, treasures and books and things for really low, low cost. So budget, budget reading. <laughs> um, let's see. And then I also just, I just love all, I've discovered as I'm reading this past year, how met, how many of the different genres that I, that I really like. And so I'll have a lot of different genres on my channel because I've tried most all of them, except for maybe horror is <laughs> probably the only one I haven't tried to read. It just doesn't call to me. So, but other than that, I've pretty much read everything other, everything else and have found favorites in all of the genres. So. Okay, so moving on to number three, what are you most excited about for this channel? And I think I've talked about a little bit about being part of the, uh, the booktube community, just meeting more people and, you know, getting recommendations from other people and talking about the books that we've read um, and just being able to share what I've read and just possibly even doing some buddy reads with people. That would be so much fun too. So I'm just excited to just about to, to join the community and um, be a part of it and do a lot of the readathons that I did over the last year. I'd love to talk about the ones that I'm going to do this year 
to see what everybody else is reading and kind of see, compare and everything. That'd be fun. Let's see. Uh, number four says, why do you love reading? So the reason I love reading is to me, it's like a comfort. It's almost like a cup, nice, a warm, hot cup of coffee. And I love to read with my coffee in the morning and just being able to kind of immerse yourself in the different worlds um, that you see the, you know, if you're reading fantasy, if you're reading sci-fi, and then I also have loved, which I didn't think I would, but I've fallen in love with historical fiction. And that's almost like a learning part. You know, you, maybe it's because I'm teaching homeschool now, but just getting into all the different historical um, stories and like the stories that I had never heard of before or didn't quite know as well. And then just putting like a human element behind them in these fictional stories. And then you kind of, sometimes you want to go down a rabbit trail to find out more about the era that you're reading. So comfort, fun, learning. That's why I love to read. Um, number five, what book or series got you into reading? So got me back into reading. Wasn't necessarily one particular book, but I think it really started with homeschooling, my coming back and, um, quitting my full-time job, and then starting to homeschool my daughter. And one of the things that I wanted to do with her is do read-alouds. And so I was reading all the time. And I was reading these really great middle grade books and, you know, books that I re read when I was a child. And then also these new, all the new ones that were coming out. And so that got me into reading. And then so I just started picking up um, fiction books for myself. And then at the end of 2022 is when I challenged myself for 2023 to read again. And I challenged myself to read at least 40 books. And that was a big, big, big challenge because I'd be lucky if I read one book a year, but I wanted to challenge myself. So I went and, went and did that. And so that um, got me started, I guess, home, homeschooling and doing the read alouds with my daughter. Uh, we read a really a good book called um out of my out of my mind by sharon draper i think i'll put it up here <laughs> for uh if anybody's interested it's a really good cute book um my daughter really loved it and then we read the second book um later on but um so yeah those those read alouds um also another book that really got me hooked into reading was um the timeless series by gabriel meyer and I meant to get that out, but I'll put it up here. I don't have the first book. I'm going to buy the first book. I, I read it on, I checked it out through Libby um, last year, but I do want to buy the, buy it. I have the second book. And then of course the third book comes out this year, but that book really got me motivated in, into finding more books like that and to read. Okay. Number, uh, question number six says, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? So let's see, what did I put down? Um, let's see. Uh, like when, where did they find some of these, some people read an amazing amount of books during a month. <laughs> they, they read, they read really fast or something. I think a lot of them, um, read audiobooks, and I have not, I mean, I have read audiobooks or, or listened to audiobooks, but it's hard for me to kind of keep track of what the story, what the story is. So I don't do a lot of audio audiobooks. Um, you know, how to, how do you find the time to read during the month to get in all your books and, or how do you also a, a question is how do you come up with all your creative content that you have for your channels? That, that would be a, a question that I could, would ask to my favorite booktubers. Okay. Moving right along. We're going to, uh, question number seven says, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? So for me, um, at first I thought it would just be, you know, talking to people <laughs> on booktube, but that really hasn't been the challenge for me. I really, I kind of think so far it's been pretty, pretty fun and, and easy to do. What's uh, challenging for me is all the technical stuff, the videoing and the editing and uh, everything <laughs> like that. It's kind of. Sometimes it gets a little frustrating and I just keep telling myself, I'm not shooting for absolute perfection movies 
style videos. I, I really want this to be a fun thing and not a stressful thing for me. So I'm just going to do the best I can. And I learn with every video that I do and I kind of tweak things and, and eventually I think I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, it'll be more, it'll be easier as far as the technical portion, but I'm not going to let that deter me from having fun and talking about books with y'all and, and, um, and not being stressed about it and just have fun and be able to talk with y'all. That's, that to me is the, the most important thing, but that would be the challenge. Um, and then the second thing would be coming, coming up with more creative content for you as, as viewers to come back to my channel and, and want to, want to watch or want to see what I have about a, a particular book or a re review and, and that kind of thing. So thinking of things of what you would be interested in and in viewing or hearing that kind of thing. So that was uh, number seven. Uh, question number eight is when did you start reading? So I loved reading as a child, as a young person, I would go by my, I would walk, back in the day, it's a long time ago when I was young. <laughs> so I would, uh, my brothers and sisters and I would walk to our local library. We lived in California and I would just, we would walk and it would be, it was a, quite a ways to get there, but we would walk to our library and I would spend hours there at the library. And I remember doing all the summer reading programs there at the library and just reading, getting, you know, getting my little star for every book I, I read during the summer. And it, I just love books and in school, I loved reading. So I just had a, a real love for, for books. Um, as an adult, um, um, when I was first married and my husband and I were living in Germany, I, I remember reading a lot then too at that particular point. And that was because we did not have like regular TV when he was stationed in Germany. I mean, we did have TV, but it was in German. So we couldn't understand <laughs> what they were saying. And so a lot of times our my in-laws would send us uh, VHS tapes of the TV shows that we used to watch. This is before internet and before all of that. So they would record our favorite shows and, and mail them to us. But until then, um, I would read to my husband and we would read books together. And that was our, you know, our, one of our forms of <laughs> entertainment back when we were first, first married. But, and then after that, I went, I started working full time and no time to read. I mean, I had time to read, but I wouldn't read. I mean, I would work, you know, all day and then come home and do the home home stuff. So I just didn't read anything. And like I said, I, I didn't start reading again until I stopped working full time and started homeschooling my daughter. And so that my love of reading picked up again. So that's been kind of my, you know, I read as a, read a lot as a child, kind of not so much as a, a married adult, working adult, and then now, being back home, having more time to read, I believe this is, is very helpful. Okay. And then the, uh, let's see, number question number nine is where do I read? I read all over <laughs> pretty much, but it's interesting because as I was writing this down, I was like, I read certain books in certain areas. So I read my read alouds and my, my regular like paperback books, my, you know, my, physical books in the living room. And then at night when I go to bed, I will read a book on my iPad that I've checked out, you know, on Libby, a different book. And then, and then I'll also read in my husband's office. I'll sit in there with him and I'll read to him. So I can be reading three books at the same time. I'll read a book to my daughter, well, actually four books. I'll be reading a book to my daughter as I read aloud. I'll be reading a, another fiction book for myself. And then, I'll be reading a book to my husband and then I'll read another book at night on my iPad. So, and my husband thinks I'm crazy that I read four books or three books, three to four books at the same time, because he's like, don't you get everything confused? But usually they're all different genres. So, and I'll, I think that'll be my, one of my last questions here, what, how I do that. So that's where I like to read pretty much everywhere, <laughs> but different things in every place kind of different. Number 10 says, what kind of books do you like? So when I started reading again, I really wanted, I didn't know what genre I liked, um, like what genre called to me. Now I like, I like 
certain type of movies. I like, um, I love my, my Marvel, uh, um, I love my Marvel uh, movies and my comic, you know, DC and but not DC, but like sci-fi kind of movies. I love those kind of movies. So I thought, well, if I like those kind of movies, maybe I'll like those kind of books. But I really didn't read a whole lot of sci-fi this year. I mean, this past, last year. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I have to figure out which um, sci-fi authors are good, that are good to read. So if you know of any that are really good, you know, please let me know. So I'm, I don't know how many I'll get around to reading. I do have some in my, on my shelf that I purchased that are sci-fi. I did, I have noticed that a lot of sci-fi books are big chunk, chunky books. So I think that's why I haven't read a whole lot because I, I don't do, I haven't done well with, with big, big books. Um, so, but I, I think the main book genre that I really, that really caught to me again is historical fiction. And I did like fantasy as well. I've read some fantasy books. Um, I didn't read a lot of romance and not until the, towards the end of the, like strictly romance. Cause I, I read some historical fiction that had a little bit of romance in there, but I haven't read a whole lot of like strictly romance books. Just a, just a few, not a whole lot, uh, but hopefully I'll read more of those this year. I love those covers. They're sweet little covers that they have for those too. Um, I did read some um, thrillers, not a whole lot, but just a few. And of course I read quite a bit of middle grade books, which I thought those were, were great. So I thought I'd add a bonus uh, question at the end. This is an extra one just to say to tell you what i'm currently what i'm currently reading so the book that i'm currently reading in my living room <laughs> where my my physical book is a book called from sand and ash by amy Harmon, and this is a historical fiction book set in italy in 1943 and so so i'm reading this one right now i haven't quite started yet i finished a book yesterday um I finished this book yesterday and loved it. So here's a fantasy book that I that I um, picked up, and this one is not um, new by any means. But I finally got on the bandwagon and and read it. But and that'll be it. This, I'll talk about more about this about in my um, month um, follow up. What is it called? Like your end of your your month reading. I'll talk about that one. But so I have this is my physical book. And then the book that I'm reading in my husband with my husband is this book. It's called Wool by Hugh Howley. And this is a sci-fi book. It's a sci and see the sci-fi books are chunkier. <laughs> it's a sci-fi book, um, dystopian. Uh, and this one I heard is a was a Christmas gift for my son because we watched the the, the TV series and really liked it. So but we just um recently started that one. I mean, I started it at the beginning of the month and then I started reading other books. So I need to get back with this one because I do want to finish this um, this month. And then the book that I'm reading um, at night on my Libby is called Vanished and it's by Irene Hannon. And I'll put that up here so you can see that one. And that one is like a suspense kind of thriller, and but it is it is Christian fiction. And I've never read one of her books before, and I've only read the first two chapters so far, and it's, and it's going pretty good. So that is all of the questions for the newbie book tag for uh, BookTube. And thank you for everyone that's um, hung around so far in the video to hear all my questions or my answers to the questions. And then hopefully you'll come back. I'm going to try to make... Um, I haven't decided what my schedule is as far as how many videos I want to do per week. I I did a bunch of them to start with, just so there's things on my videos on my channel, so that you, when you visit my channel, you can look at the different things that I have. But I haven't figured out if I want to put one one a week or two a week. I haven't decided that yet. So I'm just and I'm also still trying to learn how to do everything and what kind of things people would like to see and and hear. 
So again, thank you for, for joining me today. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down below. Look, I have loved talking to people here on my channel in the comments, questions and, and um, recommendations. And, and if, you, if you've read any of the books that I mentioned today, you know, let me know. Or if you have any recommendations for sci-fi books that you think I would like as I'm, you know, slowly starting to do those. Again, thank you for coming and hope you come back soon and have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye-bye.